can really see the total customer journey like what are they doing on your website how are they interacting um, and you know at the same time we like to talk about you know closing the loop on your sales so obviously if you're marketing to these to your list of first party data and they come in to your website or to your business and they make a purchase you can then track back to sales um, who came in and, and made the purchase. So it gives you much more power to understand who's on your website, how they're interacting on your website. Um, in some cases, depending on what types of tools you're working with, um, you know, you can provide them customized, uh, specialized messaging on your website, et cetera. So it does become very, very powerful on how you can use that first party data. And um, just to kind of close this part of the conversation, mm -hmm. Um, one of the things that I find really fascinating is when you connect the dots of, you know, who's looking at my website, what's the behavior, part of that audience are people that are not only familiar with you, but have already done business with you. Mm -hmm. And when you sure. connect that with what you already have, and you're then able to kind of reactivate and re-engage customers that have been quiet and, and not engaging with you as a business, I yep. think that's really powerful because we spend so much money trying to get new customers all the time that we end up ignoring who's already done business with us. We've already convinced them. It's going to be easier to bring them back in than convince yep. a new shopper. So I think all the time, the first sale is the hardest sale, right? Yeah. They've already bought from you. And I can, you know, I don't have enough fingers and toes to count how many businesses I've spent with, done something with, and that I've never heard back from them ever again. I forget who they are. Um, but you know, I would be spending more money if I would hear from them. So first sale is always the most expensive sale. Once you get a customer in that knows, likes, and trusts you, then it's very easy to continue, um, to generate more income from those customers. Well, I'm glad we, we addressed that point because if you were going to talk about the power of first party data, I definitely don't want to uh, kind of ignore the full picture of what first party data can do to a business in both revenue and loyalty and just brand awareness um, in general. Sure. And what I love is that it essentially decreases advertising costs because you're so much more targeted and effective with your dollars to be able yeah. to do a lot more things than maybe some of the kind of prey and spray approach that right. we've had yeah. in the past. We, I mean, we call it a force multiplier, right? I mean, you can increase your profits without increasing overhead, without increasing marketing spend, just by, you know, converting more of the traffic that you're already getting and marketing to those people that, you know, have already bought from you. So there's a lot to that.